Now it's time to give you your soy tofu burger. I'll give you guys a quick, uh, a quick science corner. Please, please. So we've talked in the past about the human gut biome, 10 trillion bacterial cells living in our gut biome. And it turns out, and there has been this theory for many years, that a lot of human disease actually originates in the gut. And there's increasingly evidence of how and why this happens. So it turns out that your immune cells can sometimes see a protein on the outside of a bacteria that sits in your gut, and it attacks that bacteria, and it tries to get rid of it. That protein can look a little bit like a human protein at some cell in your body. And so that then triggers an autoimmune reaction, meaning you are now making these antibodies to proteins that look a lot like your proteins in other parts of your body, and then your cells start to destroy yourself, and you end up having inflammation and disease. And they found evidence of this across a lot of disease states. So just the other day, published in the journal Science Translational Medicine, was a really interesting paper by a team that identified a very specific bacteria that we find in the gut that can actually trigger rheumatoid arthritis. And so, you know, I think 2 million Americans have rheumatoid arthritis. It's a really debilitating inflammatory disease. And we never understood where the inflammation comes from. Why is the human immune cell creating antibodies to attack its own protein in the joints of the body? And now it looks like that the protein that we find in the joints of the body has some overlap or three-dimensional structure that looks similar to the protein we'll find on this very specific gut bacteria that they found, which creates obviously a path now for if we can stop that gut bacteria from proliferating or um, you know existing in the gut over time, that can have a reduction but in sorry, the incidence they, rate of rheumatoid did, arthritis. Did they guess what the mechanism of action was? So, so this techno, this, so the mechanism of action is typically what's called, generally speaking, protein mimicry. And so, protein mimicry means that there's some. So, think about a protein as being like, you know, a, a, a clumpy rock. And there's some part of the clumpy rock that looks a little bit like the part of another clumpy rock. And that's the protein. Think about that as being the protein on the bacterial cell and the protein in your joint cells. And so your body makes an antibody to that little part of the rock on the bacterial cell to get rid of it. And then it, that, there's some overlap that looks a little bit like your own cell. And so that's called protein mimicry. And because of the ability now to do DNA sequencing, and now with um, uh, you know, some of the AlphaFold technology, we can actually take the genome from that bacteria, predict the 3D structure of the proteins created that, by that bacteria, and then potentially identify that there's a mimicry or an overlap between our own protein and our cells and the protein of the bacteria, which is why we're having autoimmunity, which now our immune cells are not just so attacking saying the bacteria. We could solve arthritis. We could solve for arthritis. And so there's a lot Possibly. of disease states that are starting to look like this. So the combination of DNA sequencing and our ability to identify organisms in the gut biome. And by the way, so much of this goes back to the gut biome. We're finding all these disease states from lupus to Sjogren's to rheumatoid arthritis that have some linkage back to some bacteria that shows up in your gut. And so now we can be very targeted potentially about eradicating that bacteria from the gut or, you know, kind of changing our gut biome in a way that um, ultimately resolves to eliminating that disease risk. Um, and so it's really fascinating. Yeah. Chamath, any thoughts on this gut biome? I mean, I always knew the solution was either in Freeberg's gut, you know, <laughs> or his anus. <laughs> in his gut or on Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Freeberg science corner. All right. Hey, right do Freeberg. it again. Do it again. The joke didn't land. All right, here we go. One more time. Uh, so, Chamath, any uh, any feedback on this? It was pretty, I, pretty I, great I, science going on here. I mean, it was always 50-50 that the solution was either... Your guts or your anus. <laughs> okay, you can't laugh till after you land the joke. Come on, <laughs> yeah, do it sorry, again. I saw it coming. It was coming around the corner. And By the way, I, I think you guys should leave this, leave, leave this I started all peeking in. Out of three Let's get this right for the fans. Come okay, on. here we go. Three, two. All right, Chamath, it seems like very interesting science. Uh, They're coming out of science corner. <laughs> 50 50 your anus. <laughs> <laughs> we can't even get it out. I mean, I mean, you tried to get it out of his anus. It was poking. It was like a little turtle coming out of his anus, but you couldn't get it out. Oh my god! 50, 50, 50, You're better. <laughs> It's like the entire science corner is just here for us to beat up the nerd and throw him in a locker. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> My stomach is hurting. Oh my god, <laughs> poor guy. Oh, I needed that. Is, you ever see Smokey and the Bandit when they have the the reels at the end sacks the, the with Dom DeLuise and Burt yeah. Reynolds? <laughs> I just keep losing it. That's what this is turned. Oh my to. god. 
It's like, I'm going to say science quarter and people are going to just start laughing and thinking about Freeberg's <laughs> All right, listen. Tell Welcome us. home, Sax. We miss you for your week off. Uh, uh, and, we missed you, David. Uh, we missed you, David. Thanks, and guys. Thanks. And uh, we'll see you over on Market Street. No announcements right now. No testimonials. No announcements. <laughs> I'll see you at yoga. We're going to do a... Doing I'll our see you at the homeless shelter. I'll We're volunteering today, day. right? Yeah, volunteering. I'll see you over at the homeless shelter. You're pouring Save soup? A, yeah, get, get, if you could get me a tofu salad with extra tempeh before uh, Freeberg eats it all. <laughs> oh, God, tempeh. Uh, don't, don't, go, don't get me started on tempeh. I'm going to go. I'm going to pour all the oatmeal out. I'm going right to the cafeteria. I'm going right to the cafe. I'm getting the, uh, all the oatmeal right down the honestly, drain. Me and Sax are emptying there the should be There should be one milk non-lactose alternative and then... One yeah, it's called milk. black coffee. It's and called that's black it. coffee. That's it. If you're that's lactose it. intolerant, yeah, lactose intolerant milk. No, have or one. Black coffee, have that's one it. thing without lactose. So can, whatever can that wrap is. The sh can we wrap the show now? No, we're having too much fun. <laughs> what's a, what's a, what, okay. Can you that's imagine? Important. Can you imagine the distribution of gluten-free snacks? I mean, they should have a few, but you know, sure. all kinds of different snacks. And by the way, the keto snacks have horrendous amounts of chemicals in it the xylitol what is xylitol here's, How, why would here's you eat that uh, xylitol will screw up your stomach man do not have that it's horrible free break you want to tell everybody about xylitol and the impact it has on your anus <laughs> 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 no it seriously does That's, i think xylitol is the thing that gives you a lot of gas and you just keep ripping <laughs> I think it's really bad for you. Here's an idea. <laughs> he 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 got oh. Go. Oh. <laughs> Way to go, J. Cal. Yeah, now he's going to turn into a school well, shooter. That, well, that's <laughs> your fault. You were mean to him. You came up with the anus jokes. That, that was all I've your I've been anus. doing that joke for five You're years bullied. with him. You're a bully. You I'm bullied, not. No, you no, no, bullied no, Freeberg no. off the show. No. You brigaded him. We I brigaded him on the show. We brigadooned him. We brigadooned our bestie. Sorry, bestie. All right.